Hi there, and welcome to another video of Made with Cables. Today, I'll be giving you an introduction to the MIDI button array op. So this is a really simple op to use. So first of all, let's get started. Here, I have the Launchpad Mini, um, which is just basically uh, a huge amount of MIDI buttons. So you could do this with this controller or with a MIDI keyboard. So I'm going to, first of all, make a MIDI input device. I'm going to put this here. And now I'm going to click Launchpad Mini. And now I'm just going to make the MIDI button array up. Um, I'm going to press F. I want to test that this is working. So I'll now press a button. And as you can see here on the screen, I've got activity. So if we look here at last index, um, nothing's happening. Why? We need to like tell the MIDI button array how many buttons to use. So I'm going to click Learn Start. I'm going to press the button in the top left corner. You can see this turns to zero. I'm going to click Learn End. And I'm going to click this button in the bottom right. So now if I go to Index and press this, as you can see, the number jumps to the corresponding button. So we're starting from zero. Nice and easy. So uh, how can we use this data in a meaningful, well, meaningful way? So I'm going to make uh, an array get value op. Um, one moment. Array get number, sorry. And I'm going to grab this. And if I now go to last index and plug that into index here, and I get this um, array of buttons and I plug it in there, and we press this. If you now look over here, um, when I hold the button in, it's one. When I let go, it's zero, right? And we can also see the button number here. So this is, this is like in its most basic form. This is us just now being able to access this data. So if I now click MIDI button array, I can also click toggle. And what this will now do is I press the button once and let go and it stays on one. I press it again and it becomes zero. So it's like a no on, no off behavior or toggle. So once more, just to show that, if I click toggle off and I click array get number and press and hold it in, it's like a no on, let go, it goes to zero. So those are like the two patterns of behavior um, that you can get out of um, the controller. So this will work with your MIDI keyboard, uh, with a MIDI, uh, MIDI controller like this, pretty much anything if it's supported by Chrome. One last little thing, if you plug in your device and for some weird reason it's not recognized, you're just going to have to shut down all instances of your browser uh, and then open it and then it should be fine. This almost never happens, but once in a while it can occur. If everything's set up and running, then you're just pretty much good to go. Ah, and one last thing that I want to show is, let's grab a main loop. Um, and let's grab the array iterator op. Loop over every element of an array. And this is only good for small arrays currently, but I just wanted to show this. So I'm going to plug that in there. And now I'm going to grab a value router op. Roots the value to one of the output ports. And this is actually just a great way to debug what's happening. So if you look over here, if I now press these buttons, oh, sorry, one moment. We need to plug this in here. So we get the value and plug it to value. So I can now press uh, multiple buttons and I can see what's happening here. I think it's just a good way to debug stuff. You can also use this to route the information that's coming in here to an output port. Currently, it only supports nine uh, ports, but we're working on a new version for in the future. But this should just be enough to get started with the MIDI. So I hope this video has been educational, informative. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video or to post them on the forums. Thanks for your time. Bye.